You've been wondering why your skincare products are not working. You've been doing everything and anything products recommended to you. You've been using them and they are not working. You want to know why? This video is for you. Please watch to the end. You will actually find why. You might actually discover why your skincare product is not working. So let's get right into it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time of coming across this channel, my name is Nena and I do all things skincare, lifestyle, vlogging and wellness. If this sounds like something you're interested in, something you would like, kindly join the community by hitting the subscribe button and turning on the notification bell and please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and also drop me a comment in the comment section that will mean a whole lot to me and to my returning subscribers you guys this salute is for you people thank you guys so much for always coming back to watch my video I really do appreciate you people. Thank you guys so much. The community is growing and I have you guys to thank for it. Thank you. So today in this video, we are going to be talking about cleansing. I know, I know, but there is no routine. There is no effective routine without a cleanser. No product is going to work on your skin if it is not properly cleansed. Simply put, Products will not work on a dirty skin. So you need to properly cleanse your skin. And this is by what? Choosing the right cleanser for your skin. There are different kinds of cleansers. So a couple of times, people just buy product because somebody said this product is good. Do you have the same skin type with this person? Do you have the same skin concern with this person? So what is cleansing? Cleansing is, simply put, Cleaning your face with a cleanser, you know, wash your face to take away debris, sebum, bacteria, you know, dirt, just to keep your face clean, to allow your other skincare products to penetrate into your skin and deliver effectively. You know, for you to see results in your routine, you need to cleanse your skin properly. And how do you cleanse your skin properly? Some of you just splash these cleansers on your face and the next thing you're out of the bathroom. You need to walk your face for at least 60 seconds. That's like one minute. Don't be in a rush. Don't be in a rush because when you don't cleanse your skin properly, every other product you're using is just going to be away. So you need to cleanse properly. Just use one minute. Some of you do this cleaning on like a dry skin. Please cleanse your skin as in wet your face before you go in with your cleanser. All right. Your face needs to be wet and then you put your cleanser in. your. Of course, you need to wash your hands. It's very important because during the course of the day, you have lots of germs on your hands. And when you put your cleansers, directly into your hands without washing it sometimes they don't even lather properly okay so you need to wash your hands first before anything then you work your your cleanser onto your face just use this period to kind of meditate or even think or even sing just 60 seconds wash your face and dry it or allow it to air dry or use um a paper towel to dry it I use paper towel because I cannot be going through the stress of having to wash face towel. So I just use paper towel and discard. All right. So cleaning your skin is very important if you really want maximum results or maximum effects from the products that you're using. So I have a couple of persons um, always complain in the comment section, either on my Facebook or even on my TikTok. They'd be like, oh, I started using and they always complain about sunscreen. Nobody has ever said, um, I use this product or I use it when I say. They always complain about either sunscreen or vitamin C. I'm going to do an exclusive video on vitamin C. You will be wild the kind of content that I'm going to bring on vitamin C. So just stick to this channel because you have a lot to learn so they kind of tell me oh i still using this sunscreen and i've been breaking out now let me tell you why you are breaking out one of the reasons like the major reason you are breaking out just because you introduced um sunscreen to your routine the num the major thing here is that you do not cleanse your face properly if you cleanse your face properly, you will not break out. Listen up, guys. Your skin has pores. 
they have pores your skin have pores like holes if i come closer just that does, if i come closer you would see you'll be able to see your skin have pores this is where they breathe from this is where they receive water from this is where your ingredients your skincare penetrates into now when you don't cleanse properly these pores they get clogged and because they are struggling to breathe, because they are struggling to take in oxygen and take in water, they begin to expand on its own. That is why you begin to see people having visible pores, like one of the reasons why people have visible pores. You, you should have pores, no doubt, but pores are not supposed to be visibly, like the appearance is not supposed to be so big, so loud that one can see. So when you don't cleanse your skin, these are just one of the downsides of not cleansing your skin properly your skin your skin pores begin to enlarge because they now struggle to take in water to take in air something that they could just do normally because the skin is a cell the skin is a cell on its own so when you deprive it imagine when you kind of close your nose and close your mouth and you're not able to breathe this is what goes on with your pores all right so you need adequate cleansing so now what are the two things you should consider when choosing a cleanser for your face? The first thing is your skin concern. And the second is your skin type. Listen, listen, you guys. Stop going to the market to buy products based on your skin complexion or based on your skin tone. I, for one, this is my opinion, please. Don't roast me. This is my opinion. I, for one, I think that skincare does not have the one, especially for the face, it does not have the one for fair, for dark, for just buy skincare products that have the required um, active or ingredients that you need to tackle your skincare issues. So for you to choose your cleanser, you need to consider two things, which is your skin concern and your skin type. If you have an oily skin, you should get cleansers that are meant for oily skin. If you have combination oily skin, you should get cleansers that are meant for you. If you have dry skin, get cleansers that are meant for dry skin people. And if you have a sensitive skin, you get cleansers that are meant for sensitive skin people. Okay? So, then when you're getting this cleanser, you also consider, okay, I have acne. So if you're acne prone, the kind of cleansers you should be using is different. Okay. So if you have an oily acne prone skin, I highly recommend a gel cleanser. Okay, like the one from um, CeraVe, the Cer uh, CeraVe Salicylic Acid Facial Cleanser. But because it contains an exfoliating ingredient, which is the salicylic acid, it is not advised that you use it every single day. You can use it every other day, but it's not advised to use it every day. So if you're going to go for the CeraVe Salicylic Cleanser, you might want to buy like another cleanser that you can be using every day. So for oily acne prone skin, um, gel cleansers are your best bet you don't want um any other cleanser that would you know dry up your skin and strip you strip your skin of its natural oil because when that happens your skin will just send a signal it goes into overdrive and produce more sebum more oil and what next more acne for you so yes gel cleanser very mild you can even try the um cerave um normal to oily skin cleanser it's very good most important thing is having um other ingredients in your routine that actually tackles your acne all right so oily acne prone skin gel cleansers are your best bet and for gel cleansers like i mentioned earlier the cerave salicylic acid um cleanser the cerave um Normal, um, foaming cleanser, the normal to oily skin. We have the one from um, Face Fat. Um, we also have the one from Simple. I'm just going to attach the picture so you can see it. And if you have combination oily um, skin, I recommend foaming cleansers because you have an oily skin. Do you understand? It's easy for your skin pores to get clogged so you need a foaming cleanser that will go in between all that break down every sweat break down every dirt penetrate into your pores and clean your skin and this will also help to minimize the appearance of um your skin pores if you have like enlarged pores this will help minimize it and i highly recommend the um cleansers that have um ceramides that have humectants and stuff like that okay all those good stuff right so i recommend the um, foaming cleanser from la roche posay this one right here or even the one from cerave this is actually the one that i use i have a really oily skin 
oily acne prone skin actually but this is the cleanser that i use the cerave um foaming cleanser and it's actually been great to my skin because it has ceramide it has um niacinamide and it's just super good all right so if you have um oily combination skin combination oily skin whichever way foaming cleansers are for you all right now let's get into the one that is a bit tricky the people with dry skin if you have a dry skin you need a creamy cleanser the reason why you need a creamy cleanser is because your skin is already dry and you don't want any other cleanser that will kind of strip the oil that you don't even have in the first place so you need a cleanser that will cleanse your skin and as well introduce moisture back into your skin like the cleanser is doing double work it's cleansing and reintroducing moisture back into your skin and it's where the panoxyl cleanser comes in the one with four percent benzoyl peroxide that is where it comes in all right choose the right cleansers that is why i am actually taking my time to name these cleansers and how they will benefit your skin all right so to the last skin type all right the sensitive skin type now i feel one of the reason people um with sensitive skin react to product is if the product has fragrance in it so the first thing that you would need to do as someone with a sensitive skin right is to avoid products that has fragrance in them just by products that have zero fragrance and this is where the likes of simple comes in simple products simple the people producing simple products the people they have in mind while making their product are actually people like you people with sensitive skin so you can just grab on any cleanser from simple if you have a sensitive skin however if you have an acne prone skin as well and your skin is sensitive you might also want to consider the um, panoxyl cream face wash with um, benzoyl peroxide because the um, be um, benzoyl peroxide is an ingredient that kills the bacteria that causes acne so you would actually need it however you might want to you know switch between it and the other mild cleanser, maybe CeraVe, La Roche, any of the cleansers, um, the Cos RS Gentle pH cleanser, all those ones, you can get them and use them for your skin. All right. So the other cleanser that I'm going to talk about, because there are different kinds of cleansers apart from the one that we use to wash um, our face. All right. We have the cleansing balm. OK, so if you double cleanse your skin, which I actually encourage, I encourage people to double cleanse their skin because it helps you, you know, clean properly. I remember the day I wore one of the um, sunscreen that I have here. I just decided to try it on and then I went out, came back. I went to the bathroom, had my bath, washed my face just like I would. The only difference was that I even washed twice with my cleanser. And then when I came out, I could still see um, traces of the, what, what do I call it? The um, sunscreen on my face. That means I haven't cleaned well. I had to go back. So if you always wear sunscreen, I advise that you double cleanse, which means you either get um, a micellar water. If you have an oily skin, you will be needing a micellar water. But personally, if I'm going to try any of these cleansers, I think I like cleansing balm. I, I don't think micellar water like does the job when it comes to cleaning so i'll choose a cleansing balm but if you have an oily skin it is advised that you use a micellar water to cleanse your face first before you go in with your actual cleanser and if you have a dry skin you would need um a cleansing balm or an oil-based cleanser to cleanse your face first you know before you wash your face properly and then continue with your other routine there's also another cleanser you know there's just too many options uh, option of cleansers for uh, people with oily skin especially so you see the clay mask i'm going to put one right here i have it it is what i use so any day that i just feel like okay i want to pamper myself i just mix this clay mask i just add a little to a plastic bowl mix it with um apple cider vinegar and then i apply it all over my face down to my neck and allow that to sit for like 10 15 minutes and then i wash it off this clay mask penetrates into your pores you don't want to know how beautiful clay mask is you don't want to know how um effective 
masking your face is so you would need it so any day that i use the clay mask it kind of makes my face feel tight do you understand but that's nothing to worry about i just go in with um going with any of the essence i use this um snail mosaic essence i'll just go in with it you know to introduce back moisture into my face and then i use sheet mask if you watched my last video you'll see that i mentioned sheet mask if you want to be a girly girl like i said in that video you would need loads of sheet masks even if you don't wear them every day you can wear them once a week you know one of the days just pamper yourself so i just wear a sheet mask and just relax and when i'm done for like as long as I can carry it, I'll just take that off and go to bed or maybe top up with a moisturizer. And that is it. So you need to get the cleansing stage right. If you want your other skincare products to work, you need to get your cleansing stage right. If you're not cleansing properly, you will be breaking out and you'll be wondering. Oh, you recommended this product i bought it is not working or oh, you recommended this product i bought it is not working please get your cleansing right i hope you have learned something from this video and please don't forget to like this video and give um drop a comment in the comment section if you're confused about anything just do not forget to drop a comment in the comment section and i will address it i will respond to you that is why i am here i'll respond to you so i hope you find this video useful and like i promised i'm going to be making a detailed video on vitamin c why your vitamin c is not working why you're breaking out and all that all those stuff i am going to be addressing it in my next video so i'll see you guys in my next one bye